So we're now going to look at a few mathematical operations in assembly language. So let's start with add. The add operation takes two values and of course adds them together. So let's let's have a look at how that works. So we can do add r2. So that's where we're going to store our final value that's been added together. And then we're going to add it to the value that's stored in r1. And we're going to add the value 3 to the value in r1. And then our program is just going to halt. So the value in r1 currently is 0. So basically we'll be adding 3 plus 0 and then storing that value in r2. So let's have a look to see if that's actually the case. So let's assemble the code and then run it step by step. So we'll run the first line and then you can see that in register 2 our value 3 has been stored. So, so far so good. Now we can use the uh, add operation in a, in a different way as well. So what we can actually do is get it to add values stored in two registers. So if I was to do uh, another another value, so I'm going to do uh, move into register R3, I'm going to move the value, just add 4, let's say. And instead of now adding 3, we're now going to add the value in register 3 to the value in register 1. Okay, so that we can do that. So now, if we do that, then and store the value in R2, so what we should get then is R3, the value in R3 is, is 4, the value in R1 is still 0, so therefore the value that's stored in R3, R2 then should be 4. So let's again assemble that and see if that's what we actually get. Um, so again, step through line by line. So we're going to move the value 4 into register 3 which is 4, yep. Then we're going to add 4 to 0, which gives us 4, and that's going to be stored in register 2. And you can see that's the case. And our program is then going to halt. We're now going to look at the subtract operation. It works in the same way that the add operation works, except, of course, we're subtracting two values, not adding them together. So let's play around with this code that we already created for adding two numbers and then we'll, we'll use the subtract operation on it. So let's just start with two numbers that are in, in two registers. So I'm going to move into register R3, the value 4, and we're going to, into register 2, we're going to put the value, um, let's say, 7. And we're then going to subtract those two values. So we can do sub, uh, so it's uh, SUB, so that's sub is our subtract operation. And we're going to store it in register 0. And we're going to take our value R2. R2. And then from that, subtract our value R3. And then the program is going to halt. We assemble that code. So there we go. It's assembled. And let's go step by step through this again. So let's play this button. So in R4, we've in R3, we've stored the value 4. In R2, we've stored the value 7. And then what's happened here is we've got the value 3 stored in in R0. So it's taken R2, which is 7, and subtracted 4 from that, and then it's stored the value 3 in R0. So I've mentioned already that the subtract operation works in exactly the same way as the add operation, in that we can also use values directly. So let's replace the value stored in register 3, let's say, with the value 4 directly, and that will give us exactly the same outcome. So we're subtracting 4 from the value stored in register 2, which is 7. So that will give us give us 3 in this case. So we can use our subtract operation in, in both those ways, using that operand either as a, we can have a register there, or we can have it as a value 